tell them. Tell them all. Whoever comes, whoever it is, I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. So, hello guys, my name is Oli, and today we are playing Wasteland 3 as John Wick using overpowered pistol build. Main features of this build are In early game, John shoots 5 times per turn, has almost 100% critical chance, and has 37 strike rate, thus every third shot is a devastating precision strike. In the mid game, John wiping out foes with 6 shots in one turn, and John also provides insane leadership buffs to the party as well. In the late game, John shoots 14 times with 100% crit chance. At least 3 of these shots are executed as a precision strike. Let's start a new game on Supreme Jerk and complete prologue as punk lovers, cause John needs their initial items. I need your clothes, your boots, and your pendant. At Rangers HQ, John finally joins the team, and let's define his stats. As background, I want high base damage, so the choice is between Raider Hater with its bonus damage to most common enemies, humans, and Explode Maniac, as John will use explosives damage in the late game. I take Raider Hater to make early and mid game engagements easier, cause late game damage will be insane anyway. At attributes, I want max int to reach 100% crit chance early, for coordination to have 13 AP for early 4 shots and a trick shot, and the rest to charisma to boost strike rate and leadership buffs range. For the skills, my initial goals are 4 ranks in small weapons to equip rank 4 pistol, which I'll purchase soon, and 6 ranks in animal whisperer to Good dog. Good dog. get access to wonderful perks. For the quirks, I still want high base damage, and the choice here is obvious. First of all, we need some money, so let's ask Charon dig for gold. Now we can purchase army revolver in Colorado Springs. So let's start to work on full house quest. Now I can pick up Vengeful Burnt Bird, and for that I need 6 ranks in Animal Whisperer and Grooming Brush purchased at Bizarre Exterior. Vengeful Bond is an amazing perk. If the pet health drops below 25%, John gets additional 2 AP and 50% crit chance. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. If the pet is gone, this buff becomes permanent till the game is reloaded, and this happens quite seldom. Bonuses from Vengeful Bond perk are so insane that, despite that I love pets, sometimes this happens. With Vengeful Bond and buffs available in early game, John has almost 100% crit chance. Nice, I got invitation to Broadmoor Hates, so I can visit Patriarch Palace and by passing a few skill checks, loot Lightweight Barrel and Guardian Pistol. This beast has serious damage, very high accuracy and looks pretty same as pistols from the movie. Wonderful. Now let's upgrade Guardian and for that visit Bizarre to purchase weapon mods and ask Aurelio whether he can fix its range and crit damage. I can fix this. By the way, let's purchase ammo, alcohol, cigarettes, food and... Drugs are bad! I stop here. Let's try John's new toy at Hoon Homestead. Whoa, I love this damage. I also want this underbarrel modification, which I will use in the late game. It's time to clear bizarre locations and finish full house quests. Things getting better as I take Trickshot perk. Trickshot is an amazing ability, it does double damage to marked targets, it charges strike meta to 100% and costs only 1 AP. This is insane. The only drawback of Trickshot is its low accuracy, but John can handle it with high accuracy pistol and mark buff as well. With 10 Charisma, Opportunist Perk and Kickboy's Pendant, John has 37 strike rate. Thus, every third hit is a precision strike crit, which blows up bosses. 
John is a very inspirational person. To reflect it, I use leadership skill. And this is a very good choice, as now, with all kills John does, he provides superb buffs to the party, and these buffs will get stronger as John level up. John, and another well-versed combat-oriented character, can handle any engagement, even on Supreme Jerk. So, the rest of the team focus on non-combat skills. But still, each of supports complement combat with rally ability for additional AP for John and mark ability to boost damage from precision strikes and trick shot and increase hit chance. As supports focus on non-combat skills, they can reach rank 8 plus in secondary skills early. And this is what I want, cause my next goal is to beat Aspen to get access to late game gear for John as soon as possible. Before Aspen, I want to make some shopping in Denver. Things I want to buy are Chemtech armor chest piece, Farsight scope and leadership trinket. Chemtech armor chest piece is a very strong armor. It provides infinite combat teams. Which grants additional AP and accuracy. Both are very important for John. My general goals in Aspen are to take Diffusal Kit, Leadership Skill Book and somehow deal with Vic. To make John an absolute killing machine, before each battle I check that John has these buffs. Food, Cigarettes, Alcohol, Vengeful Bond, Combat Steam. I've done with Aspen and now I visit Patriarch to finish the quest. I'm the Ranger's newest recruit! Aren't you proud? Finally, I can upgrade Kodiak Radiation Protection and now I can visit any location on the map. And before I do that, let me share with you some fancy stuff. You've probably noticed that sometimes John has more than one pet buff. When I leave John in HQ with a pet, pet's buff become permanent until I tame pet with the same buff. It helps if I want to have cat buff for critical chance, but run around with the dog for role playing. These bonuses can be doubled with Spirit Animal perk. With all these buffs, I feel like a Disney princess. It's time to visit Chiba's merchant. Good afternoon, Mr. Wick. May I suggest? Man Cannon. Man Cannon is the best in-game pistol. It has high basic damage, which is doubled by its special ability. Let's visit Terillium Mine to take quick fire mech and update Man Cannon. I want highest possible range, so I don't waste AP on moves. And quick fire mech, which makes each shot cost only 2 AP. The problem with pistols is its low penetration. It can be solved with changing damage type from the ballistic to something else. And as John is a jack of all trades with weapons and explosives is one of its skills, I use explosive modification. It also opens the opportunity to boost John's damage with explosive skill, and I'm going to do that. Now I want to get rank 9 and 10 in leadership, and I won't spend any skill point for that. What I need is to equip Leadership Trinket acquired in Denver and use skill book from Aspen. After I unequip Trinket, I still have 10 ranks in Leadership. Magic. Leadership buffs are super powerful and with John's damage he has the opportunity to provide these bonuses for the party. I also want a Structural Weakness perk and to take it I need only rank 1 in Mechanics skill. And two items, Machine Shop Helmed from Full House Quest and Toolkit purchased in Colorado Springs Garage. Sweet! Now John has everything he needs to wipe out enemies in one or two turns. Rank 5 in survival skill and related utility item from Bizarre Exterior, John can take Big Game Hunter perk to boost his damage against mutants. To boost damage from Man Cannon, I get 8 ranks in explosive skill. And with explosive skill book from Arapaho Caravan and diffusal kit from Aspen, I do the same trick as I did with leadership. And now I have plus 50% damage with explosive weapons. At this point, John has 17 action points, and this is 14 bullets delivered straight to the foes each turn. So, you have a wonderful day, guys! If you enjoy what you've seen, please leave a like and do consider subscribing for more nutty videos on Wasteland 3 and upcoming RPGs. And guys, thank you so much for all support I have from you, and just that you're still here, it's important for me. 
This was Oli and I'll see you in the next video.